my body is positioned. Remember before I was in between here, so now I'm on the outside of her arm. I want about, and, and for this, you don't have to get your goni out and measure. You know, it's like 55 degrees abduction, 30 degrees. But you don't want the arm way back here and you don't want it out. So make sure that your abduction, you know, this would be 90. This would be 45, so I'm about here, and, I'm, and I've got her positioned in a little bit. Now, caudal means toward the feet, right? So I'm, and I always do, I always do a distraction. So I always do an arm pull with this hand. I've got her, I'm really, I mean, I've got her right here. I'm on my, she's on my iliac crest. I, I have got this, there's no problem. I'm supporting her above the elbow. My proximal hand, again, you want to use the flat of your hand. You want to be as close to the joint as you can get. Um, and the, the glide is going to be caudal, so down toward the feet. So I'm going to give her a little distraction, and then I'm going to glide toward the feet. Now, for this one, I mean, go ahead and kind of feel. I don't, I don't want you guys to get in. And I'm using my web space for this. I mean, I could, I just feel like if I'm up in here, my wrist is in too much extension. I feel like I could keep my, but I also don't want to be squeezing her or anything like that. Is that comfortable mm -hmm. for you, Alyssa? Yes. So if I'm doing grade one, though, it's going to be just small amplitude like this. There is not. It's like ant movement, it's not much. Grade two would be a little bit more, but I'm still not reaching into her resistance. If I was gonna do a grade three, then I'd start and I'd be getting into the resistance and doing small amplitude. If I was gonna do a grade four, I would be going to either end of the range. But so again, why am I doing this? To, for pain if I'm doing one or two, but what motion am I going to? Abduction. Because if her arm is going to come up, the head of the humerus has to dive down. That's, that's why you have to learn the convex concave rule as you go here. So go 